Hi there, I'm Ben Weilerstein. That's W-E-I-L-E-R-S-T-E-I-N, and I can spell it again if you need it. Good. Okay. Uh, so I'm with Toxics Action Center. We work with neighbors across New England, and particularly myself, I'm in the Massachusetts and Rhode Island region, to protect the health of our communities and prevent pollution, as well as cleaning up toxic pollution. Um, so I want to talk about a number of things. I uh, looked through the uh, executive summary of uh, National Foods Filing, and there are a few criteria that they lay out that I wanted to respond to. Um, so this is, I think, on page six of the first attachment, if you have the filing in front of you. Um, and so there's, there's a few points. So the first one, which cites unsustainable levels of price volatility in terms of gas, um, and, and therefore proposes as a solution that we have more natural gas pipelines to deal with this price volatility. And so I'll respond that uh, that, that price volatility is a re result of over-reliance, not under-reliance on gas. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, gas fueled 95% of Rhode Island's net electricity generation in 2015. If gas prices are already volatile, adding even more to gas will only exacerbate the problem, not solve it. So that's the first point. The second, uh, further in that first point, um, regarding the fear that a lack of pipelines will undermine the economic competitiveness of our state and, quote, uh, or, sorry, that was the quote, um, so my question then is, how does adding another charge to repair bills increase competitiveness? How will paying for more electricity help businesses and families struggling to get by? If the costs are higher, that doesn't help businesses, that only hurts them. Um, so in, instead of uh, adding more gas pipelines, we should be replacing gas and other infrastructure that we're phasing out, like coal, with renewable energy, with affordable renewable energy like solar and wind, uh, that does not further burden ratepayers and does not require a fee to be added because those technologies are already affordable and are already competitive with gas. The, uh, the report cites a holistic energy strategy, local investment in clean energy, and that we should diversify our, uh, or diversify our supply portfolio that advocates for all of these things. And the conclusion it reaches is that more natural gas is the way to do it. I agree with all of those points, and I uh, don't think that natural gas is the way to do that at all. Natural gas is not a local investment. The gas is coming from Pennsylvania and is drilled elsewhere outside of the state. Um, it is not a clean energy. It carries a whole bunch of toxins that are um, poisoning people in Pennsylvania at the site of the wells, at the site of the fracking wells. And a lot of the toxins can also get into the gas supply. And um, there, there, there's research being done now about the toxicity of gas that we previously thought was so clean. It's not local, it's not clean. Um, and in terms of diversifying our supply portfolio, as I mentioned, 95% of our gas, slow down, got it, 95% of our gas, uh, or sorry, of our electricity last year in Rhode Island was from gas. If we want to diversify our supply portfolio, pushing it from 95 to 100 is not diversification. Adding solar and wind would be diversification. Um, so that's that. And I have a couple more things. Um, the report cites that adding natural gas will reduce climate emissions and will help us reach our goals as a state in terms of climate change. However, burning gas is just as bad for the climate as coal. Gas leaks from wells, pipelines, and compressor stations. In fact, it's blown out of compressor stations. It leaks from power plants. It leaks from pretty much every single piece of the infrastructure that is used to transport, store, contain, and burn it for energy. Even at low leakage rates, methane is far more powerful of a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. In fact, it is over a 20-year time period, 80 to 100 and times, 80 to 105 times, sorry, as strong of a greenhouse gas as carbon dioxide. Given that fact, even at those low leakage rates, it's burning gas for electricity is just as bad as burning coal in terms of climate change. Uh, and finally, one of the um, main points that this proposal hinges on is that um, this rate pay increase will be done in concert with a number of states. In Massachusetts, this similar tax has been disputed and has been extremely controversial. And in fact, the state Senate recently uh, voted unanimously to oppose a tax just like this one. Um, and while that tax has not been banned in the state, there was a, uh, in, in the energy omnibus bill in Massachusetts that, that uh, a tax similar to this one was originally included in that, in that bill and has since been removed. So Massachusetts is backing away from the exact tax we're discussing here. And it doesn't make sense for Rhode Island to go full force into a tax that Massachusetts has already made clear it's a good idea if it is important overall to have the whole region behind this tax. Um, so overall, I was actually want to ask that there be a rehearing done on this. Because um, I was wondering if I can ask everybody here, if you heard about this thing, if you heard about this hearing today, if you could raise your hand. And if you heard, you could keep your hands up, if you heard about this hearing yesterday, if you could raise your hand. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't seem like enough time for uh, folks to have had public input. I know that this has been posted online for some time, but I was looking on the website of the Public Utilities Commission, 
and it does not specify exactly what is being discussed today, given that what is being discussed is an increase in rate uh, in, in, in the rate for um, taxpayers for, for ratepayers on the utility bill that this that there be a, a rehearing conducted and that uh, that, that um, prior notice be sent out on the bills or, or in some mailing to every national grid rate payer so that people can be properly informed of the possibility that their rate that their, their electricity bills will go up.